for the scavenger hunt, Spike? Yeah, this scavenger hunt will help us learn more about what's in the museum. Let's get started. The first clue says, find the geode. Hmm, nice try, but I don't think you're a geode, Spike. You're an alien. <coughs> don't worry, we can figure out what a geode is by looking at its root. Its root. Here, I'll teach you how to choose the definition of a root so that we can finish the scavenger hunt. The clue says, find the geode. Good eye, Spike. There are some hints on the back. Geology, the study of the Earth's surface. Geography, the study of the places on our planet. Geothermal, heat within the Earth. Yep, all of these words have geo in them. Geo is a root, a word or part of a word that other words can grow from, like a tree. Roots don't usually stand on their own. They often need other word parts, like logi, gruffy, and thermal, to give them meaning. First, let's see what these definitions have in common. Look, they all mention Earth, or our planet, so we can guess that geo means Earth. Back to our clue. To find the geode, let's look for something from the Earth, since we know geo is a root that means Earth. Yeah, that rocks from the Earth, and it says open me. Another clue. While we read the next clue, let's practice choosing the definitions of roots. The clue in the geode says, look for the periscope. Hmm, the hints are, Telescope, tool to see far away. Microscope, tool to see tiny things. Kaleidoscope, tool to see beautiful shapes. First, all of these words have scope as a root. Now, to figure out what scope means, we can look for a common word or idea in all of the definitions. What does scope mean? The root scope means to see. All of the definitions have that in common, so a periscope is something we can see through. Yeah, we can see through that. Let's use it to look for the next clue. Over there. What makes thermal energy? Whoa, this one's tough, but we can do it. The hints are thermometer, measures heat. Thermostat, controls how hot it is. Thermos, holds hot liquids. Therm is the root for all of these words. So what do the definitions have in common? What does therm mean? The root therm means heat. All of the definitions say heat or hot. So back to our clue. Something that makes thermal energy makes things hot. Oh, the sun. Here's a model. Let's look under it to find our next clue. While we do that, Practice choosing definitions for root words on your own. This clue says, open the mouth of the quadruped. On the other side, it says, centipede, a bug with many feet. Pedestrian, someone who travels on foot. Pedal, something you push with your foot. What does ped mean? The root ped means foot. So now we understand our clue. Open the mouth of the quadruped. I know that quad means four. So if ped means foot, a quadruped has four feet. Over there, the lion is a quadruped. Uh-oh. Don't worry, Spike. I'll reach inside its mouth. Here's the next clue. Find an astronomical instrument. What? We can do this. Okay, the clues are astronaut. One who travels through outer space. Astronomy, the study of space and the things in it. Astrophysicist, one who studies what things in space are made of. What does astro mean? The root astro means outer space. Okay, so now we know an astronomical instrument has something to do with outer space. <gasps> it must be that telescope. Now we can see the last clue. Get into the teleportation machine. Transport. Carry across a distance. Portable. 
able to be carried. Import. Carry something into a country. What does port mean? The root port means carry. The clue makes sense now. Get into the teleportation machine. I know that tele means far away, like how we call people far away on the telephone. Since port means carry, we should look for a machine that can carry us far away. Oh, it's this time machine. Let's get in. Today, we learned how to choose the definition for root words. We can think about other words with the same root and decide what they have in common. Uh-oh. Where are we? You think we've been transported to space? And an astronaut needs to rescue us? Great job with those roots, Spike. But luckily, we're just in the gift shop. Phew! Scavenger hunt done!